There's two things that I like. I like t-shirts and I like style hacks. I'm always looking online to find different little tips and tricks that can help getting dressed easier, just help your life in regards to fashion a little bit more simple. So one of the tips that I always see online is to make your shirt softer using salt. So I was like, huh, this interests me. Bask your t-shirt in salt and then it suddenly comes out softer. I'm always buying t-shirts and frankly, I like to buy semi-expensive t-shirts. There are certain lower end brands that work for me, but you know, I'm a t-shirt junkie. I want them soft, I want them nice. But then I thought to myself, well, hmm, if these hacks actually work, could I take like a five pack of Target Hanes t-shirts and turn them into an expensive shirt? So I could essentially take a $2 shirt and turn it into a $100 shirt. So I got really excited about it. I went to Target, I bought my shirts, I bought my salt, took a little bowl, and I went to town. So this is the new version of the t-shirt from Target. P.S. a men's medium, a little tiny. I would get a men's large, or a boy's large, excuse me. So this is the new one out of the package. It feels pretty soft, but what I discovered is I think what they're doing is they're putting like some sort of coating on top of the shirt. So it feels soft in the package, but then once you wash it, like the softness washes off. So feeling it, I'm like, well, this isn't too bad, uh, but don't be fooled. So this is the new, this is our control item. Okay, pretty soft, uh, you know, looks pretty good. So then I found a instructions online on how to make your shirt softer with salt. And what they said was to take a big pot of water, put your t-shirt inside, cover it with water, add one cup of salt, and bring it to a boil, okay? So bring it to a boil, once it hits a boil, you put it down to a simmer, pop a lid on it, and let that baby marinate in that salt water for 45 minutes. So I did that, watched a little scandal while it was boiling away, and then you take it out, you put it in the wash, and wash it like you would your normal clothes. So I had a couple of other things in the laundry, used my soap, did the whole thing, dried it. This thing came out crunchy, okay? This did not work. The boiling trick, it didn't work. This thing feels horrible. <laughs> like, it is so far from soft that it's like, it's ridiculous. And on the site, they were saying that they tried it and it worked. You know, maybe they had a more expensive shirt to start with, maybe that's what happened. But I do not recommend the boiling technique. Big ol' thumbs down. Moving right along. So then, you know, this is a five pack, I could experiment. Then I found another recipe that said, take a bowl of water, just regular cold water, no boiling required, um, half a cup of salt, and soak your t-shirt in it for three days, and then wash it as normal. So for this one, I was like, let's just add a little more salt. Half a cup didn't seem like enough, so I think I added a cup of salt. You know, I wanted to uh, speed up the process. So I put the shirt in the bowl of salt on a Friday, and then Sunday night, I took it out. Instead of washing it in the machine, because I thought maybe that would be too harsh, I hand washed it with some soap from the laundress, and I let it air dry for a bit. I tumbled it in the dryer just to soften it up, and these are the results. Now, this one feels a heck of a lot better than the boiled shirt, like way softer. Does it feel softer than, than the new one? Not really. So the salt trick, you know, sorry if you got all excited, you were like, oh cool, I'm gonna like check out how to do this. I just don't know that it works that well. I think you should just buy a soft shirt to begin with. Like I said, I hate to burst your bubble, but I mean, three days and I wasted like a couple cups of salt? I could have cooked with that salt. 
I don't think it's worth it. Um, but I will tell you, if you do want to try it, definitely the three day soaking method trumps the old boiling method. So scrap the boiling. So I would love to hear your thoughts. If you've tried this and maybe it worked for you, maybe I just have no clue how to dip a shirt in salt. Maybe I just suck at it. But if you've done it and it worked, please let me know if you've done it and it was horrible too. I'd like to hear about that as well. So that is how you fail at making a shirt softer with salt.